Hello everyone, welcome to an old school classic Friday new product post here at Sparkfilm Electronics. I've got my products laid out symmetrically and I'm gonna talk about them. First up, we have a new revision of the LiDAR light. The LiDAR light is a fantastic piece of technology that sends out laser beams, measures how long they take to bounce back, and then it gives you a distance or speed reading. This is what our CEO Nate used to do the um, speed trap in our building that you can see in another video. It's a pretty cool thing. The new version has basically bigger, faster, better. Um, it has like five times faster processing and it has a much better and upgraded I squared C interface. So if you've been looking at one of these, now is a great time to buy one because it's better. Next up, we have a revision to the SI4703 FM radio module. Instead of talking about it here, we have Sean that did a nice little demo with it. I might be showing my age, but I remember growing up with a Walkman. Now, mine probably had an FM, AM, and I think it had a cassette player in it. Oof. But I still enjoy listening to FM stations from time to time, because despite all the commercials, I think the live DJs add a level of personality you can't find in Pandora or Spotify. So, we put together this FM stick, which is based on the SI4703 evaluation board. The SI4703 allows you to tune into an FM station and listen to it. In this case, the board has a built-in headphone jack so you can plug in some headphones and it uses that wire as an antenna. The Fox. This is how it began. In this case, we're controlling it serially from an Arduino. We're going to be using a Fio V3 that lets us attach a LiPo battery and charge it as well. To use it, all we have to do is plug in some headphones. This acts as our antenna. Then there's a rocker switch in the back. Turn that on. Flip it around and you will see an OLED screen. Now, we just use this little rocker switch up front here. We can adjust our station. In this case, I'm gonna tune it to some local Denver station. Let's see here, oh, 103.5, that sounds good. We can push it in, that switches to volume, and then we can adjust the volume to some appropriate listening level. I don't wanna damage my ears too much. Put in the headphones, and enjoy. Oh, I love this song, yeah. Classic Sean. Next up, we have a couple new sensor boards. We have the LSM6 DS3 and the LSM9 DS1. These are both similar boards. One is a six degree of freedom and the other is a nine degree of freedom. We talk a lot about DOF in these videos and on the website. And what is DOF? My videographer is nodding his head saying, oh, that's depth of field. It's depth of field, but it's also degrees of freedom. In sensor technology, we refer to it as degrees of freedom because it is the number of axes that the sensor can detect. If you have a three axis board, it can detect X, Y, and Z. So it can detect something like Y, X, and then Z. If you have six degrees of freedom, it can not only detect your X, Y, and Z, but it could also detect, let's say, the positioning. If you have nine degrees of freedom, it means that you can do X, Y, and Z and then you can also do a positioning in those directions as well, but you can also do a tilt inside of that as well. So if we translate this into sensors, you have an accelerometer, you have a gyro, and you have a magnetometer. With an accelerometer, an accelerometer essentially tells you on a flat plane how quickly you're moving in an X, a Y, and a Z location. A compass tells you where you're pointed in that location, and a gyro tells you how fast you're moving or rotating in that. So between nine degrees of freedom, it gives you full position accuracy of where this board is basically placed in a 3D space and how quickly you're moving through that 3D space. If you have a six degree of freedom board, it's essentially everything but the gyro. Typically, you start out with an accelerometer, then it has a tilt compensated function, which is the compass that gets attached to that, and that becomes a six degree of freedom board. And then when you add on the gyro component, then you have a full nine degree of freedom. The two breakouts that we have are the LSM-6 and the LSM-9, six being the six degree of freedom and nine being the nine degree of freedom. Whether you need a six degree of freedom board or a nine degree of freedom board, we have a couple different options this week to get you covered.